Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to automate the process of bringing in data into Power BI from an email. Now picture this, it's the end of the month and your sales team has sent out the monthly sales data via email. Wouldn't it be fantastic if you could seamlessly import the data into Power BI without any manual intervention? Well, that's exactly what we will be exploring today. So let's jump in and see how we can do this. So let's select get data over here and choose more and let's type in exchange over here because we will be getting in the data from the Microsoft Exchange online. So let's double click this. So it will ask you to enter your mailbox address. That's basically your email ID. I have that copied on my clipboard. I'm going to paste that over here and click on OK. Since I already have a connection established with my Outlook, it is not asking me to enter the password, but if you are logging in for the first time, it will ask you to enter your password, so please do so. And now we have different options that are available over here like calendar, email, meeting requests, people, tasks, etc. We are interested in the email, so I'm going to choose email over here. This will now bring in the details of all the mails that are present in your inbox. So I'm going to click on transform data. So let me show you what is it that I have done here in the Microsoft Outlook. I have created a separate folder here called sales report. I also have a rule in my Outlook which will basically move the emails automatically whenever it finds a certain subject line in the email. So for example in my case over here I have sales report as the subject line so you can create a new rule to move those emails which contain sales report in the subject line. So all of my emails here, I have three different emails of different months, Jan, Feb and March created over here. Let me jump back into Power BI now. There are many columns that are available over here like your folder path, subject of the email, the sender of the email, etc. I'm interested here in filtering this down to the sales report folder which is within the inbox. So I'm going to click on OK. So, so I have now narrowed down the list of emails. Now I'm only seeing the three emails that are present in the sales report folder and I have different options like I said earlier I have display to see CC recipients if I scroll to the right over here so what I'm interested here is the attachments column so I'm gonna right click on the attachments and choose remove other columns because I'm not interested in the other columns so let's click on this icon over here and expand all of the columns that are available within the attachments column and now that we have expanded all of the columns over here the column that I am interested over here is the attachment content so I'm gonna right click on this and choose remove other columns because I don't want to have any other columns in here now that I have removed the rest of the columns, it's now time to look at the content of that particular attachment. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the add column section over here and choose custom column. So we need to create a custom column over here and then I'm going to type in since my attachments are XLSX files which is Excel workbook. So I'm going to choose Excel workbook over here. If you have a CSV file then instead of typing in Excel workbook over here you can type in CSV dot document open the bracket here and enter the attachment content and close the bracket. Since I have the Excel file over here I'm going to type in Excel dot workbook open bracket and double click on the attachment content close the bracket here and then click on OK. So when you do that you'll be able to see the tables which are present in each and every attachment of that particular email. And now let's expand the tables over here. I'm going to click on this icon over here and select OK. And this will basically get to the table that is present in the attachment. So I have the column over here which says custom.data. I'm going to right click here and choose remove other columns. And now when I select or expand this particular column over here, I'll be able to see all the columns that are present in that particular Excel file. And then I'm going to click on OK. This will now bring in all the data that is present in those three attachments. And as you can see over here, we don't have the table header. So let's go to the home tab and choose use first row as the header. Now that we have promoted the first row as the header, but we still have two other Excel files which contain the header information. And now let's go to the category column over here. Let's look at all the columns that are available over here. When I choose the category and click on OK, you'll see that there are two other header options that are available here, which we will have to remove. In this case, I'm going to come down over here, choose select all and then get rid of the category over here. You will have to choose a column here, which has the distinct 
header name. In this case, my category is not going to repeat in any of the rest of the rows over here. So I'm gonna choose the category column and uncheck the category over here and then click on OK. Now that I have removed that, I have my clean data set now. I can simply go ahead and click on close and apply. And all of the data from three different emails and their attachments have been combined now. So when I bring in order date and sales column over here, I'll also have to change the data type of the sales over here. Instead of text, this needs to be a whole number. I'm going to click on yes. And then I'm going to change this to the bar chart or a column chart over here and bring in my sales amount into the Y axis. And as you can see over here, let me change this to a column chart and then let me expand this to the next level. And you'll be able to see that I have data here for January, February and March. And let me quickly add data labels as well. And now I have another email sitting in my inbox. It's in my inbox folder. It's not in my sales report. And if I move this into the sales report folder over here, and go back to my Power BI report and click on refresh, you will see that it will take a couple of seconds before it brings in the December data as well into my table. And now you can see that I have my December data as well, which is refreshed automatically based on the email that was sent to my mailbox. And there you have it, the power of automating data reports into Power BI from your email. You successfully streamlined the process of bringing in your monthly sales report, saving you a lot of time and reducing the risk of manual errors. I hope this tutorial has been informative and helpful on your data automation journey. Remember, automation is just not about efficiency, it's about empowering you to focus on the analysis and insights that truly matter for your business. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel MI Tutorials for more insightful tutorials and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all the latest content. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, happy automating.